The J.C. Queen Show is an exciting contribution to Trinidad and Tobago's carnival celebration. The 1969 show is no exception. Len Hackshaw, president of the Junior Chamber of Port of Spain, welcomes the Governor General and his wife to the show. The show is divided into two main parts. Our first contestant, Nicole Dabody, sponsored by Ramotar Singh's Hardware. Her costume, Chante Claire, Pheasant Queen of Malaya, designed by Steve Muradali and made by Kenrick Isidore and Neville Muradali. Next on parade, Catherine Boland, Miss ICI Pates. Her costume, Dew Fall on a Lady, an artistic creation of that rare blossom, Lady of the Night, reflecting in a shimmering array of silver and white, the magnificence of the moonlight. This is Suzanne Fifi as Cinderella, on her way to the ball in her pumpkin coach, her white horses, and her lost slipper. This fabulous costume by Jimmy Sutherland and Conrad Gonzalez. Her sponsor, Susan Anderson Gons. Our fourth contestant, Jacqueline Govaya, Miss Arima, in her costume, The Magic of the Bees, Claude Hospitalis' interpretation of a beehive amidst the silence and freshness of an eastern countryside in Trinidad. Our fifth contestant, Clemencia Mitchell, Miss Ebony, her costume, Fantasy of Flowers, depicts an arrangement of flowers. It was designed and made by William Asu. Next on parade is Miss Port of Spain, lovely Diane de Leon. Her sponsor, the First Federation Life Insurance Company. Ken McPherson designed this costume, naming it Hey Bay, Goddess of Youth. <laughs> On stage, Camille Dryden, Miss Amar Auto Supplies. Her costume, Explosion, a kaleidoscopic color fantasy of red, green, amber, and blue. This costume designed by William Asu. dream of hummingbirds, a fantasy inspired by the world of the Tobago hummingbirds. This costume was designed and made by William Asu and Gerald Vera. Our last contestant, Sandra Bocas, portraying Nymph of the Forgotten Waterfall. This 
costume made and designed by Miss Frances Fanfan, in spite of its enormous size, weighs less than 40 pounds. Miss Fafa recreates a newly discovered waterfall on Trinidad's north coast. included dances by Thora Dumbell's School of Dance and the Southern Dance Company. This is Mexicana, put on by the Southern Dance Company. in her evening gown is Sandra Bocas. What could be more appropriate for the name of this truly exquisite creation than that of our national flower, Chaconia? This way out gown made of red French silk chiffon shot with a silver illusion falls loosely from the shoulders, cascading gracefully to the hemline. Next is Moon Mist, the gown worn by Clemencia Mitchell. A shimmering sugar and ice gown that glimmers with every move, so beautiful in soft sparkling bonded crepe with clinging fluid lines that widen into a flaring train as the skirt lengthens. And here is Suzanne Fifi. Her gown is called Bedazzled. <laughs> Miss Port of Spain, Diane de Leon. A picture of elegant simplicity in a gown of aquamarine candy floss cut on sheath lines. a plunging neckline heavily worked with Gipure lace appliques. Miss Port of Spain Diane de Leon parading in her gown Bluebell. the African words which mean a thing of rare and regal beauty, the name of the gown worn by Jacqueline Govaya. Jacqueline is 21 years of age five feet, ten inches tall, with brown eyes and hair. She's a secretary at aviation services at Piaco, an avid lawn tennis player, and a member of the Arima Tennis Club. Camille Dryden is also an avid lawn tennis player. She's a brown-haired beauty, five feet, six inches tall, and 19 years old. Camille was educated at St. Joseph's Convent, Port of Spain, and was the sixth entrant for the show.
Her gown, topaz, made of French chiffon, cut on the classical empire line, studded with gold spangles, highlighted by the luster of rhinestones on delicate appliques, so artistically arranged to form an eye-catching design. inspired by the phosphorescent shimmer and sparkle of the blue-green crystal waters of Tobago. Judy represents the petite, adorable freshness of Tobago, which is our sister island, just 12 short sea miles away. Judy, 20 years old, is 5 feet 3 inches tall, with black hair and dark brown eyes. She is employed with the Royal Bank of Canada, sponsors of the main item of the show. From the trend of sophistication and elegance, we swing to the look of our age, the bold look. This daring gown worn by Catherine Boland, fashioned of gold weave and subtly revealing her body movements. Catherine is an airline hostess who loves to ski, swim, play tennis and travel. She's 21 years of age, 5 feet 5 inches tall, with dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. contestant is Nicole Dabody. Her evening gown, Celestial Fantasy. This gown depicts basically the soft light of the moon shining through the universe. This original creation features a close-fitting semi-A-line strapless dress. The main portion of the dress is made of lightly worked silver embossed material, giving the illusion of hundreds of moonbeams dancing in the atmosphere. Nicole's hobbies are skiing and swimming. Your Carnival Queen of 1969, Miss Ramutar Singh's Hardware, Miss Nicole Davidy.
Carnival Queen Show is the culmination of one year of effort by many members of the Junior Chamber of Port of Spain who all work on a voluntary basis in their spare time. This show helps to bring out the ingenuity, skills and imagination of our local producers, designers, costume builders, dressmakers and everyone else connected with it. contestants are sponsored by local business houses. The show has been run for 11 years and is attended by approximately 13,000 people who by their presence lend their support to furthering the work of the JCs in their community.